So I've just ridden the Felt AR on the Kona Ironman course, about 180 kilometers. And I thought I'd just give you my impressions, a bit of a review. Um, now I haven't had the opportunity to do much research on this bike. I've only ridden it once and picked it up yesterday, so I didn't even know what high bike I was getting. And the thing about Felt is they're not a very popular brand in Australia. I don't see many of them. They're, I know they're an American company, been around since 91. And I had a quick look at their website last night. They really focus on aerodynamics and the frame itself it does it it's really resembles a time trial bike more so than a road bike in my opinion and i remember 10 years ago when i started to get into road cycling i remember felts were a, the the road bikes were super aero back then so i'm not sure if they were a pioneer in the aero road frame but if you look at this frame right here everything is pretty much aerodynamic the front end the forks the down tube, super skinny, super aero. Even the bottom bracket is really aero. Um, seat tube, aero. Seat stay, aero. I think this is a bit thicker here to maybe to help manage uh, the shock and vibrations in the rear of the rider. And really the only parts of the frame that are non-aero is the seat stay. As you can see there, there's a bit of girth in there. And also the top tube. The top tube kind of reminds me of the specialized tarmac top tube, but actually a bit thicker. Now. What I actually noticed on this bike when I first picked it up was the head tube looked quite sizable for a aero road bike and I looked up the stack and the head tube and compared it to the Venge and you've actually got about over 10, this is a 54 centimeter, over 10 mil more stack which is from here to here up to here on the felt AR which means the rider can get up a bit higher and I reckon from a riding experience, what I noted today was I felt definitely this bike feels the road bumps and vibrations. It's an aero road bike, really aero. In fact, if anything, this bike's number one trait would be I, I definitely felt the weight cut through the wind was elite. This bike normally comes with some 50 mil carbon wheels. As you can see, they've got some 30 mil alloy clinches on this. And as a higher bike, you wouldn't want to be giving people 50 mil carbon wheels riding around on these roads. So I think those in addition, this would be a super aero proposition, but because it is so aero, the comfort factor, you're feeling the road, you're feeling the vibrations, but because you've got more stack, you can get the, the rider can sit a bit high and you can take the pressure off your neck and shoulders. And I certainly felt that today, but I did feel the road shock and vibrations in the rear of the bike, which was going into my lower back. Certainly a stiff bike, but the responsiveness I got out of the bottom bracket a little disappointing. Lastly on the bits and pieces, uh, my subscribers will know I typically like to talk more about the frame. Ultegra Mechanical, one of my favorite group sets, you can't go wrong, super reliable, gear change is perfect, it's very robust and also durable group set as well. And the cockpit area you can see you've got an eastern stem and an aero eastern handlebar here. So overall for the ride I did today in Kona, really nice sealed roads, relatively flat, this bike was perfect. And I think for a rider that's looking for an aero road bike, but perhaps isn't, you know, super flexible, doesn't ride a lot, but wants to go pretty quick, wants to ride fast bunch rides with their mates, this would be a great bike. Quick little review here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.